and uh, and it cost me five hundred dollars for half a paragraph. So there was another lesson learned. But Dominaya came after. So we're back to my girl here in town. And she finally, after I told her, I have to bow out, man. I can't do all this shit and, st and have you not address my concerns about proving who you are online. I, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a given these days. You have to fucking prove who you are online. You can't just start rattling off all these rules and regulations of how I'm going to be a slave and hook up my ass and tie me in a box and whip me and pour gasoline on me and shove hoses up my nose and make me chew bubble gum. Because I'm all out of bubblegum, baby. I kick ass and chew bubblegum, and I'm all out of bubblegum. So, that's my story. But it sucks, because I had a real a 20, like 27-year-old hot dom in the palm of my hand wanting to teach me, but she wouldn't address the fact that, of who she was. I can't do that. I can't just take for... For face value, somebody off the web that's going to be that big of a part of my life and have that, much, and I'm going to give that much control to. So that that's my story, people. Virginia Knox, I loved her to death until, and you know, until I found out that she's not warm and fuzzy. You know, a lot of doms aren't warm and fuzzy as much as I think they are, because I I am who I am and I project who I am on other people. I'm very, I can be very aggressive, I can be very sexual, but I'm also a very nice person. So I project that onto other people and just, you know, just because they got a leather, a whip and a paddle in their hand, I, I think they're a nice person, right? <laughs> not always, not always. Now I'm not saying every one, every dominatrix is mean, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it would take a little bit of compassion to be able to do that the right way. So, but I tell you what, I didn't get the compassionate end of it from a lot of them. And I paid a lot of money to learn those lessons. So when it came to this one in town, Jesus Christ, what I was looking for, you know, it bummed me out because she was so busy rattling off all these things I was going to have to be, do, say, act, da 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 that she wouldn't send me any pictures to get me all turned on and, and attracted to her. And after I told her, I gotta bow out, man. I can't, I can't do this. I can't be all this and then not have you um, uh, aware that I am concerned, okay? That's the trick of me being in this little box for you is you address my concerns so I don't have to fear, so I can feel protected and safe to be able to do these things. And uh, her loss, man, my loss too. But I I'm that way, I I'll cut and run, like I said, as soon as somebody is a whiff of bullshit and I'm quick, that's what I said last night. And uh, it's really sad, man, I could have had me a dom in town, a 27 year old hot dom, but she was by the book, man, by the book. Just, she was like reading a, 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 you know, a school book, a textbook, of BDSM and she wouldn't stop a moment and address my concerns of the online relationship we were creating. She was putting the cart before the horse which is very dangerous for me because I've already lost two thousand five hundred dollars and that's just that. That's not anything else I've, I've lost you know. And to Dominaya man she would have put that black anaconda so far up my ass on film and I'd have been famous because I'd have made it look good, baby. There's an anaconda. And that's a seven foot tall satanic dominatrix sticking it deep in my ass. Thank you, baby. But, you know, her loss. I mean, she could have, the money I gave her, we could have really done the photo shoot, you know? She would have had the product and I would have had the experience of screaming on a seven foot tall satanic dominatrix anaconda strap on that would have been groovy um so so that's my prequel to this evening i'm kind of dressed up i got a little latex thing that i ordered and and it's all under wraps for the moment and uh, uh, i will see if i can make it look hot later on but i keep trying to entertain oh and and virginia knox was before right before i met mistress issy's and Mr. Sissies was kind of a, uh, what do you call that when you're on the rebound? 
when I did my first Instagram website and I had all the doms on there. And she just mesmerized the fuck out of me with that little video where she's playing with shit and putting her cute little face up close and smiling at you. Mesmerizing you with that Gaelic witchery and yeah. I was on the rebound from Virginia Knox and I needed something and this Mrs. Sissy shows up. And I was like, you know, but then I was overzealous already. I was already in that. I can see why we had to part ways. But now, now I'm more mature. I have learned my lessons and settled. And I keep adding to my knowledge. So I just want to say that now that I've found Mistress Sissies, I'm, I'm very respectful and, and supportive. And that's a super fan. I mean, I, I have a little bit of history with her and... Uh, I just want to support her business and her, support her and her business and, and maybe get a little acknowledgement once in a while from her, you know. I mean, it's nice to be acknowledged by somebody that you, that you like and care about uh, as much as I can care. I, I don't know if I have a heart anymore. I think there's one in there somewhere. That's what this key's for. This key is the key to my heart baby right that's the key to my heart right no it's not it's not the key to my heart but uh you know it's just a trophy any chick that can take this key and put it where it belongs deserves it okay so until then it's a reminder for me that uh yeah it's a reminder okay peeps i will see you on the other side couple hours I'm gonna lay down uh, I have a watch here somewhere I'm gonna lay down a little bit more and uh, just relax till it gets a little later and the motorcycles and the cars aren't driving by and I'm gonna hit all my lights tonight I'm gonna hit all my best lights and try to make this latex thing look look hotter than hell and with a little baby oil so peace out and I'll see you tonight thanks bye